What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee! Hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's doing okay. Real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you. He cares about you. Okay? Cast your cares on him. Cast your cares on Jesus because he loved you and cared about you. He died for you. He died for all of us. He made the ultimate sacrifice so we can live. And it ain't no religion. Please understand some of you guys keep the drive alive. You keep the dream alive. Don't ever give up on your dream and everything for anything or anyone. You keep pursuing your dream. Okay? Stay the course and everything. As long as you stay the course, as long as you stay on the right road and everything, you can't get sidetracked. Okay? God loves you. I got a blessing with your name on it. Whatever you're struggling with or dealing with and everything, turn it over to Jesus. Okay? Because he does care about you. Also, you guys, excuse me, I want to let y'all know and everything. If you lost a loved one, please understand someday in heaven, they're in a better place. And they're in the hands of Jesus who will give the utmost love and the utmost caring for all his children. That includes me, myself, everybody. Okay? So it's time we give Jesus the praise and everything. God got a blessing with your name on it. Don't give up, y'all. Don't give up. Keep your head up. I don't care who said you couldn't do it, who walked away from you. Keep your head up. Keep going. Because you got it as a blessing for you at the end of the tunnel. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. Real quick, if you're going... Sorry about that. All right, guys, real quick and everything. If it's your first time tuning into my channel, please understand some. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm giving you what's real. I'm giving you what's unedited. And I'm giving you practical principles you can use in life. Hell, some of the tough uh, subjects that I may talk about may affect you directly. Okay? If not, just try to listen to it. If you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong channel. If you want to hear gossip and What's the latest celebrity gossip news and who got their head done and who's sleeping with who? I can give a rat's ass about any of that. I'm here to help somebody and everything with life. I'm here to help you and everything unedited and raw and truthfully and everything to help you, you know, get through your situation. Somebody said something negative to you about my channel, please tell them to go straight to hell because I ain't got time for negativity. <clears throat> Real quick, you guys. Uh, to make sure oh, I'm here to challenge you to be a better man and better woman. I have no heaven and hell to put you in. All right, you guys. Topic of conversation is today and everything. It is called You Are Gambling Your Life Away. I repeat, you are gambling your life away. You guys, let me explain something to you about gambling. And you hear me well, okay? I don't care what anybody tell you, what's the latest news and all that and everything. Gamble is exactly what it is. You, you putting your hard money. This is why I really don't even buy lottery tickets anymore and everything. But you putting your hard money that you worked your ass for. You give it to uh, these damn lottery, uh, whether it's scratch-offs or the Mega Million. Yes, some people hit and everything, but most don't. Please understand something, everything, you guys. Do not spend all your money on trying to hit the lottery. Because you're going to be one broke nigga, okay? Or one broke person. Please don't do that. Okay? Because it's not necessary and you don't need to do all that. Okay? I know people who have gambled their house away. I know people who have gambled their cars, their business, and everything. You don't do dumb shit like that. You worked all these damn years to build that business or get them cars or finally get that house and everything. You go gamble away on some bullshit. Please understand something. The house always wins. Okay? There's a reason why they say that because it does. The house always wins. Them damn slot machines and everything, you may think you hit here a uh, hit here and everything. Your ass mess around and get screwed over at the end. Now you sitting up there penniless and brokeless and ain't got nothing in your pocket and, of course, nothing in your damn head. Use your damn mind. Don't gamble all your money away, especially you done worked hard for it. I understand you want to out and everything, but go to the out and go get some food or go to, um, I don't know, a theme park or some shit and everything. Don't sit there gamble your money away. You work for that money. Why gamble your money away to go give it to somebody and you ain't getting shit from it? So please understand, I know people who have spent three, four hundred dollars on lottery tickets. Three, four hundred dollars, if not more, on lottery tickets, scratch-offs, slot machines. There was one guy, one time I was in Vegas, this dude bet fifty thousand dollars on a roll and his dumb ass lost. Fifty thousand dollars just like that. 
I know to millionaires and billionaires and zillionaires, that ain't no money, but shit. If your ass ain't got that money, that is some money. And something else I want to tell you and everything. Now, this is the flip side of this. For my people who don't seem to have a brain, if you somehow, somehow you at the crap table, blackjack or whatever the hell it is, like I said, I'm not a gambler, but if you somehow hit money, let's just say more money that you came in with and everything, or you hit some kind of way a miracle for 50,000, 100,000, hell, maybe even a million, do me one favor. I don't give a damn if the crowd pumping you up. Come on, man, you can do it. Shut your ass up. Get that money and get the hell out of there. Getting what it getting is good. You know damn well you ain't coming with no damn 50, uh, 50,000, 100,000, or 500,000. Get the hell out of there. Because what they're going to have, the trick is, they're going to have you play it back. They're going to have you run all that money back, and your ass going to be sitting there looking stupid with a, without, a, with a, uh, without a pot to piss in and when to throw it out of. Don't fall for the trap. Do not fall for the trap. If you somehow, some way, uh, hit the uh, lottery or hit the crap table or whatever you're doing, playing cards, whatever you're doing, and you hit for that kind of money, get the hell out. Leave. I don't, I don't want to hit them with the cry and say, come on, man, you can do it, man. Shut your ass. Don't, don't fall for it. Do not fall for it, y'all. Don't fall for it. I don't give a damn what they saying. They can cheer all they want to. Get out of there. And when you get out of there, make sure there ain't nobody following your ass. Because people will try to rob you and everything once they know you got some money on you. That's why we try to tell you and everything. If you can, get your bodyguard. If we get a police or something, grab you one of these or something and everything. Do what the hell you got to do. I'm telling you. Gambling and everything. You gambling your life away. And something else and everything. Don't be gambling like these damn racetracks. All this, I'm betting $800 on a horse and everything. I mess around, I lost all the money. Now... A loan shark when we pay them 800 plus some more. Don't get involved with that. If you don't know what a loan shark is, it's somebody that's going to pretty much have you pay more money than what you originally uh, betted on. Okay? Don't get involved in people and stuff like that. People have gotten killed. People have gotten kidnapped. People have gotten hurt and everything. Be involved in that kind of business. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not gamble your life away. Is there, you gambling? Is it worth losing your business? You gambling, is it worth messing up your marriage? Messing up your kids' life, your kids' future? All because you want to hit that number? All because you gotten greedy? If you, like I said, I recommend don't gamble. If your ass gonna gamble, like I said, if you're, I'm gonna say again, my recommendation, don't gamble. But if you somehow, some way, hit for a large portion of money, get the hell out of there. Don't be putting your house up, don't be putting your business up. You can mess around and put your house on everything. Your wife and kids at home have no idea what you're doing. And next damn thing, they know they got to move out. They're looking at you like, what the hell, dad? What the hell, husband? Think, people, think. Stop being so damn money hungry. Do not be gambling your money all your money away. Don't do it. All right? Don't be gambling your money away. Please don't be doing that, you guys. I hope you hear me. A lot of people have lost their lives. A lot of people have lost business, uh, cars, uh, their spouse, their kids, all kind of stuff. Their their future, all kind of stuff. It ain't worth the gamble, people. It ain't worth the gamble, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? And all these people talking about they got a gambling addiction and everything. You know, you ain't got a gambling addiction. You got a dumbass addiction. How the hell you get addicted to losing money? Especially money you didn't work for. Let's get shit right, y'all. Let's get shit right. You understand me? This is Beretta 19, you guys. Stop gambling before you lose everything. Stop gambling. I don't care if you're in business or whatever the hell you're doing. Stop gambling before you lose everything. That includes your family and possibly your life. Remember that. Especially if you got a family, it's going to affect more than just you. It's going to affect everybody connected to you. Remember, hard work. Don't sit here and work hard, go through all this hell in life and everything, then gamble it away and lose it only in one day. It's not worth it, y'all. It's not worth it. Remember, the house always wins. And something else, like I said, with these damn people who like to play pool, and if they don't gamble with nobody, one dude tried to get me play pool a couple months ago with him. He, with the, here's the trick, and I'm going to be done here. Now, I know a lot of people, particularly old-timers, know what I'm talking about. They let you win four or five games. They let you get your confidence up. I'm talking about playing pool. They're trying to hustle you. They let you win four or five games, and out of nowhere, out of nowhere, and everything, they knock every damn ball in there off break. 
Now your ass is in a hole. Watch shit like that. Don't let nobody hustle you. Oh, come on, man. You can play a game, man. Come on. Oh, man, you beat me the first three, four games. You can win this next game, man. Come on. Let's raise the stakes. A hunt and a ball and all that and everything. Don't fall for that shit. He hustling your ass. Don't fall for it. Don't do it. I'm telling you, you're going to be sorry when your ass uh, come home and everything. You don't know what to tell the kids and tell the wife. We got to move out of here because my retarded ass done gambled the damn house away. You will learn something. You don't think this shit happened? It's Beretta 19, you guys. Do not be a gambler. It affects more than just you. Don't gamble. Don't gamble with anybody. Use your damn brain. You work this hard in life to get what you got. Don't gamble it away. All right? Beretta 19, y'all be blessed and take care.